Hello and welcome to Hazel the Plant Witch. A short little game developed by Mini Bunnies, available on Itch.io. And, well, it seems interesting. I believe it has a mechanic where basically you're a witch, you're talking to a bunch of plants, and they talk to you. And you're supposed to record what they say and use them, you know, use the sentences that they give you as dialogue choices. So it, it, it seemed unique. So I want to see what it's about. So let's just play. Um, slight thing though, it, the, the resolution is a little weird, so it's a little bit cut off at the top and bottom. Hopefully it doesn't affect anything. It doesn't seem like it does. But anyway, so we got text from mom though. Hi honey, your father and I are checking in to see how you're doing over there in Vaxa Village. We know you're probably busy, but give us a call when you get this message. Don't forget to drink lots of water and make sure you get enough vitamin D. <laughs> vitamin D. Let's see. Oh, press E I guess. Yeah, okay, I'm trying to get the controls. Let's walk around. Do 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 do. We're, we're a witch, I guess. That's just a normal thing. Hmm. Looks like Rose is blocking the way out. If only there was some way, I'd get her to move. Hello. Buttercup looks parched. Should get some more water. Okay. Water. Hydrate the buttercup. Buttercup looks much better now that I've gotten her some water. I wonder what she's saying now. I should pick up the plant translator and recording device on my bedside table to find out. Is that what plant witches do nowadays? They use the technology? Do you have to be a witch in that case? It just seems like this is just sci-fi. Uh, Hazel's horticultural communicator. How to use with this handy dandy device, you can understand the language of all 390,000 species of plants. Walk up to a plant and press E or spacebar to hear what surprising things it has to say. If a plant says something interesting or useful, you can even record their speech. While a plant is talking, press R to record. Be careful though, this device can only hold up to four different recordings at any given time. So if it's full, you have to tape it for a past recording. Okay, so you have to be careful what you record. Hello? Hmm, thanks for the water. I was so thirsty. I was thought I withered away, especially with Rose leaving today. Anyway, can you turn on the radio for me? It's so quiet in here that I can fa hear my own least rustle. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's literally just sci-fi. It seems. Uh, turn on the radio. Based on old technology though, it's like a tape recorder and a radio, but... Somehow it has holograms as well. I love this song. Thanks for turning on the radio. Music makes me want to stretch my stem and dance. You should go check on Rose and see how she's doing. Just say something like this. Hi Rose, what's up? Okay. Hi Rose, what's up? You copy that. Oh, damn it. Uh, that's not what I want to do. Hmm. Copy that. How do I use it though? I'm gonna talk to Rose. Okay. Silence. Hi Rose, what's up? What if I say the wrong things actually? I didn't catch that mom. What were you saying? <laughs> it's mom. I love this song. Thanks for turning on the radio. Music makes me want to uh, stretch my stem. Okay, how about that? Okay, what if I say that? Music wants to make me stretch my stem and dance. Does it? Must be hard without the stem. Sorry, I don't mean to be insensitive. Most of our life is hardship with or without a stem. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just say hi, what's up? Nothing really. Life is full of pain and suffering. <laughs> Rose is this seems very depressed. It's day, but will it ever be light again? Seems unlikely with those curtains blocking the window. Would you mind opening them for me? It's so dark and depressing here. Okay. The sun, it's beautiful. You know, with the speed of light, the sun might be dead right now. We never know. Okay. Kinda like how when I move out, I could be dead. You never know how. Or, ah, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to worry you or anything. I'll be fine living on my own. I ain't know how to take care of myself. I don't have a sapling. I need water anymore. I'll just copy that too. Can I just use that for another thing? Oh, no. I can't use a buttercup, but... Oh, okay, we finished that. Alright, so you can't just use any kind of dialogue to any kind of plant. Because that would be interesting, but... Like, but it would be very complicated. There you go. Talk to the rose, the buttercup, we open, you know, the door and go over here. I've given Rose what she needs, but I'm not going to be there for her forever. She's leaving today to live on her own. I need to get her the perfect gift. To show that I love her, but I want her to find her own way. It's a weird way of talking about plants. It's kind of, it's kind of like talking, to, talking about kids. 
I wonder if there's a plan in the village that can help me find the right gift for Rose. I should talk to the villagers, my translator. I can record and play back their own words, communicate in plant language. A lot of, a lot of plant people, it seems. We're not people. Are they people? I, mean, I don't know. They're living things, I guess. Mm, battery, windmill. Can we run? I don't know if I can run. <laughs> Which is kind of this is a weird way to walk, just stomping around. Anyway, can I talk to you? Uh, Tama, bro. How was the party last night, bro? Wish I could have gone, but it was hopping. For a seedling, Buttercup has bomb taste in music. Dude, it was Rose's leaving party, not some blowout. Snake, bro. Is it like snake grass? Is that what it is? <laughs> kind of a downer. Hazel was so quiet, Rose is weird. Rose barely talked to anyone and ate the entire snack table in one go, including the table. They have to learn to communicate, bro. That's not something a party can help. Anyway, wanna hang out? You busy with anything later? Okay, I'm copying that. Oh, that's important. Just doing some gift shopping. Halloween's coming, I wanna get something for you, bro. Bro. <laughs> Just bro. You're the best, bro. What are they doing? They're playing cards? Oh, is that um, Hanafuda? Is that what it is? I think they're playing Hanafuda. <laughs> Uh, which is funny, because that, that Hanafuda means like flower cards, I guess. Anyway. Oh, this is the same, actually. Skip all that. Then look at what it's just... Skip faster. I don't know. Anyway. Put the mouse away, I guess. I don't need the mouse. Walk around. Are these flowers in the top two, too? I think Rose will be okay going off on her own. Well, we certainly survived. Rose is tough. I think she'll be just fine. Yeah, well, I hope she makes the time to visit. It's so easy for children to forget their roots. <laughs> I hope so, too. This floating island protects us from the world, but it makes it hard to stop by. Okay, we're on a floating island. Interesting piece of lore there. Maybe there's another way to keep in touch. Hmm. Yeah, it's just a bunch of plant people, I guess. Huh. Well, I, well I, I, you know, I feel like you, I kind of missed the opportunity to make all these plants actual humanoid looking. I mean, these ones, you know, these guys are pretty cool, but, you know, the sunglasses. But uh, I wish you, well... Maybe not wish, but like, there could have been an opportunity here to just turn everyone anthropomorphic, you know? <laughs> but I guess that might be too cliche, I don't know. But I feel like you could have done that. And just made everyone just look like people, you know, just plant people, actual plant people. No, the sketch is all wrong. The verse has no rhythm, down the page. Poetry is ever so difficult, Hazel, yet infinitely rewarding. Enough about me, how can I help you, Hazel? How are you feeling? Uh, you want to hang out? Alas, this verse will not be finished on its own. I cannot leave until all becomes clear. Until that time must be uh, until that time must be left here all alone. Do not fret; there will be time for us yet, my dear. Okay, that's a uh, poet, I guess. Morning, Hazel. Thanks for stopping by. What can I do for you? Of course, you must want a gift for Rose. Well, you've come to the right place. What catches your fancy? Kind of like how I went and moved out, I could bet that, and you know, <laughs> that's a nice story, but a busy at the moment. Come back to when you exa know exactly what you want for Rose. Crouton's uh, Rose's best friend, right? Maybe he has some ideas for what he could get her. I heard he likes to hang up by the fountain. Photos? This is a souvenir shop for some reason. Do people visit? Sometimes, I guess. Ah, uh, hi Hazel. Rose is leaving today, huh? That's so soon. I thought we had more time to hang out. It's hard to see Rose leave. I'll miss her so much. Did you see what Rose did at the party last night? Mm. Wanna hang out? Oh, sorry, Hazel, but I have to see Carrie about my grades. He's not very happy with them or me. He's probably the strictest teacher at school. Okay, school. It's like plant school as well? Crazy. So I gotta figure out, you know, obviously you have to use the dialogue system to find a way to ask about Rose's present, I guess. What was this? This is a dialogue tree. Oh, dialogue tree. Uh, it's, it's two puns so far. Maybe even more than that, actually. I don't know. The more dialogue I find, the more it grows. It might be fun to help it grow, though. I could just concentrate on getting a gift for Rose. It's kind of like getting a score in a video game. Wow. Dialogue. Can you see it goes up? Uh, what are you working on today? I'm working on my sourdough starter. It's gonna be big hit with the floor, I can tell. Would you like to try some? 
Should I put that on the thigh law? I don't know. Yes, 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 I would love to. Wait, this is raw. Well, that's the best way to eat it. You know, Tulip, has sometimes I think you're as crazy as Rose. Did you see what you did at the party last night? Ate all the snacks and the snack table? Yum, yum. Mm. You know, there is like a lot of dialogue. I don't know if there's, you gotta get like every single combination. Because that's a lot. <laughs> that would be a lot of dialogue to get. I don't know if I'll get everything, but... You know, I'll talk to as many plants as I can. Good morning, Hazel. You're looking a little glum. You're sad as to your smile today. Dare I ask, how do you feel about Rose leaving? Uh, kinda like how when I move on, I could be dead, you never- That's a rather strange response. Okay, well, that's just like generic response, I guess. Or if they don't know anything. You're rather quiet. I understand. Sometimes better keep our emotions to ourselves. Yet, we must also let ourselves be vulnerable to the ones we love. Okay, so how do you feel about Rose leaving? It's hard to see Lil Rose leave. I'll miss her so much. How about that? I don't get what he's trying to say. Uh, something about snack table. Oh yeah, well. Okay, well first let's uh... Get a little gloves. It's hard to see Rose leave. I'll miss her so much. All children must leave home someday. Rose is getting a little big for her cottage. I heard she grew over your cottage door. That's certainly a sign that she needs her own space. I'm sorry, Hazel. It must be hard. Well, when I feel lonely, I always think of this poem. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on higher over whales and hills when I all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Alright, put that on. It makes me lonely. It makes being lonely seem not all that bad, doesn't it? I stop feeling lonely when I think of daffodils. Alright. The poet might like that, actually. How do you feel about this, poet? Where's the poet? Who's the poet again? It's up here, I think, right? Yeah. No sketches are wrong. No rhythm. How are you feeling? I wanted lonely as a cloud of blah 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 blah. Oh, I blush. Yes, that feels like we are rather proud subjects of that poem. I won't say that was why I became a poet, but well, let's just say daffodils are poets for a reason. You're a witch of good taste, Hazel. Perhaps, well, would you care to hear my poem? Hmm. It signs the domain the fool of the sage. I thought you are a fool. No, it must be up a sage. Okay, well... I have to get like, yes, yes. Okay, so let's find like uh, a way to say yes. Alright. Hold on. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I would love to. So, put that on. This is raw. That's basically it. You know, tell us something you're crazy as rolls. Eat all the snacks and the snack table. We put that on as well. Yum, yum, yum. So go back over here. Okay, well, I, I have to keep my okay, because uh, it doesn't save the dialogue. So I have to make sure I have the right poems and the right, you know. Oh, I, I had that. And then he asks you, "Want to hear my poem?" Uh, yes, I would love to. White udalasa, udalsa, shiny leaf I see in my back garden, neath the sun in the teaching room of my mind. All right, put that on. That's as far as I've gotten. I know, terribly amateur, far too enamored of the word swerve. But those are my feelings. Oh, I bless you to think of the subject. They will never know. Hmm. Talk to you as well. That's so soon. I have more time to hang out. The party? Uh, ate all the snacks, <laughs> you know? Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, it was kind of scary. It's sort of impressive, like everything Rose does. She called me last night. She said she was so excited to see the world end. Well, it may be sad and happy at the same time. She sounded sad and happy at the same time, too. I wonder if I need to remember that. Anyway, I guess she's packing ready to go. Where do you think she'll go first? Hmm. Okay, well, there's like multiple lines. Let's talk about these guys, right? They're these guys in the greenhouse. It seems like only yesterday that Rose was a little seedling. They grew up so fast. I hope she visits. I remember when my Jack left home. It hit hard. The world down there is enormous. It's hard to imagine from our little island. All the lands divided by invisible borders. I just thought how we'll ever know where to find him. The only humans who understand us are witches. At least until Hazel gets that device out of hers out there. There are only so many places a plant can go. Witch Fort, Elkano City. I hear the water is made of gold. Unhygienic, really. <laughs> Moon City, that's, well, that was Jack's favorite place. The only place on the planet the sun doesn't touch. It was hard to contact him there. It's easy to forget to write when you're in the city. I hope he's doing okay. Kids, more trouble than they're worth. 
You raise them, they leave you for fries and a cherry soda. Hmm. Fries and cherries? Those monsters. How do, how do you... Your plants, though. How do you eat fries and cherries, though? How do you do that? Plant, eat plant. That's the way of the world, pumpkin. Sometimes... Well, actually, do plants eat other plants? I don't think so. I mean, they all... Most plants, as far as I know. Except maybe the... I mean, there's the... What's it called? The Venus flytrap. You know, they eat flies, I guess. But as far as I know, most plants just kind of like do the whole photosynthesis photosynthesis thing, right? I don't know. Photosynthesis in water. Well, nothing but suffering to the day we wilt. Besides, Hazel has little another monster to raise. Okay. Huh. Mm. That's weird. So, uh, the music, by the way, is low for some reason. A little weird sometimes. Anyway. Uh, how about I copy this? I don't know, oh, there's so many things I need to copy, but I'm not sure. Well, how about this? I'll just open it. I already, I already got the poem for the white Dulissa, I guess. I'll copy that. Because I feel like I can answer this, this question over here, right? What are you feeling? Uh, seems like only yesterday that Rose was a little seed lake. Oh, okay, it's the same, okay, it's the same dialogue, alright. So you can say, okay, there's multiple dialogue lines for the same question. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Obviously, you know, getting Rose's gift would be the greatest thing to do. Rose is tough. She'll be just fine. So I'll do that. I don't know why the, the, the music, by the way, sometimes is a little, for some reason, a little statically. I don't know. Is it just me? Am I crazy? Anyway, um. She party. Okay, so she ate all the snacks. It's kind of scary. What do you think she'll go first? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, where is she go? I thought I thought he asking how is she. Never nobody asks how how she is, you know? <laughs> Rather than where she is. Hmm. How about we mention the Alcamo yeah, okay, someone mentioned like a city, right? So these guys over here. Uh Witch Fort? Alcamo City. Sure. Hmm. Let's do that. I gotta be careful, I, I wanna press the wrong button, you know, and then I, I overwrite the dialogue choices that I wanted to keep. Let's see. Okay, I do this. Where did you go? How about the Witch Fort? The Witch Fort? I don't know, it's kinda capless? <laughs> What's with turning everything into gold? Rose might go there for a laugh, but I don't think she'd stay. Any other ideas? No. Oh. Hmm. How about the Moon City in that case? Moon City. Sure. Let's try the Moon City in that case. I think- I mean, these guys only, only are the only ones that mention places, so... Let's see... Ate all the snacks? And Moon City. Wow, that sounds perfect for Rose. All dark and dreary. This show's so cool. I didn't realize Jack was there. I haven't heard from him in a while. I hear it's hard to get in touch there. I guess it's kind of far. Oh, Hazel. I just had the best idea. You know what will make the best gift? A phone for Rose. Okay. There you go. That's the... I don't know if there's a way to... Is there a way to save? I don't think there's a way to save, but... I want to get the present first, maybe. Mm. Why a do <laughs> Is there anything else to get? Because uh, we got the dialogue, I feel like. Anything else to do? Talk to... Can I go back, actually? Yeah, I'll make sure... Let's see if there's any dialogue yet. Yeah, sounds beautiful. Hmm. Music. Hi, Rose, what's up? Okay, I don't know if there's anything else I can do there. Because I wasn't going to use their dialogue for anything else, but it doesn't seem like it. Who else can I talk to? Why a Dulasa? Oh my, that's quite a verse. I've never seen caricature plants like me in a poem. Well, the metaphor is a mix and the scavenger is a mess, but the feeling is rather flattering. 
But you don't write poetry, do you? I think I know who wrote this. Perhaps I'll call them this afternoon. Thank you, Hazel. Hmm. Oh, I think, well, I think, well, it's a poem for Carrie. Okay. That's what it was. Uh, how about, uh, copy that. Put that on. Call them this afternoon. Can I talk to them now? Because it seems, I guess, a daffodil made a poem for the carrier, I guess. Some romance, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. What happens if I, like... I don't know if it matters, but... <laughs> Ate all the snacks. No, that makes, makes no sense. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? Eat all the snacks. That's a breath of trees response. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, hi, Hazel. I thought you had more time to hang out. Put that on. I don't know if there's anything else I can do with uh, the carry and daffodil. Seems like maybe that's the end. How do you feel? Then we're trying to hang out. It's a rather strange. Well, that's not a strange response. I don't think that's a strange response. I thought we had more time to hang out. That makes sense to me. Okay, I'll put this one on. Hmm. I don't think that- yeah, I don't think there's much- uh, I don't know. I think that's it for, uh, the carry. Was there much- like, I remember... The Daffodil gave us a poem, right? I, I wish- I, I want to, like, communicate that message, you know? The Scanlation's mess, or whatever, the Scansion's mess, whatever. Like, the metaphors are mixed and Scansion's a mess, but the feeling is rather fa flattery. I want to communicate that to the Daffodil, I don't know how, though. I don't know if there's a way to. Well, we are. You're more- you more than most, of course. I shall miss her too, but all else she'll keep in contact. Okay. Mm. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Calling each other bros. I didn't know plants could do that. 65% chance, or not chance, but you know, 65% in total in terms of dialogue. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what else to uh, communicate, because the only, there's only like so many uh, plants to have combinations with. Mm. I don't know if there's any other places that Rose can go, but anyway. A phone for Rose, that's a great idea, here's your phone! I hope Rose can keep in touch. So I got the phone. I do for you. You must want to get for Rose. You can I'll cast your fancy. Oh, can I get more stuff? I wonder. I wonder if we get more out of that. Apparently, this plant is eating bread. By the way, how's that work? I mean, that. I keep doing that. Uh, kids are more trouble than worth. How deeply true. Parents can only appease their children's appetites for so long. Eventually, their roots grow yearn, or their roots grow to yearn for sustenance we cannot offer. Okay. A little dialogue here and there. It's not super important. Yeah. You know, 76% chance. I keep saying chance. 60%, 76% overall. I don't know if it was worth it to find any other pieces of dialogue, but I think that's good. I think that's enough. I've, you know, explored. Again, dialogue system is interesting. If there's anything, if there's no, if there's nothing else, I feel like it's a little like uh, it's cool. It's just, you know, it tends to be like a, the samey. It, like it takes a lot of effort just to say one thing, and you know, it doesn't really contribute much. But it's cool though. I mean, the main system to find the the gift of rose that's kind of cool. You know, its own little puzzle. Anyway, go back here though, and we have a phone. So. Wow, phone! Mom, you shouldn't have. I am now supposed to be anti-capitalist and all. <laughs> anti-capitalist? Uh, well this game is pretty rad. Who told you I wanted one? Crouton? I didn't know plants- I didn't, By the way, I didn't know plants were all- were political. I didn't know... Do plants even have the right to vote? I don't know. 
<laughs> I guess he didn't really want me to live that rock and roll lifestyle and go completely off the grid. I don't want to be all cheesy, so I only say this once since it's about to head out, but I love you, Mom. I put and grow up to your plant that will make you proud. There you go. Dev plants. Okay, they do that. The devs have plants of their own. There you go. I didn't find like 100% of the dialogue, but I think that's okay. You know, I probably the rest of the dialogue is a lot of like, you know, back and forth, asking questions, probably about things we already knew that's implied in the rest of the dialogue already. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe there's some Easter eggs I might have missed. Either way, that was kind of cool. Anything else? I guess that's it. Yeah, there you go. True little game. I again, very interesting dialogue mechanic. It wasn't as, uh, deep as I thought, but still pretty cool. I do like the idea. I wish there was more to it, actually, you know? I wish, I, while it was kind of cool to find all of the, the little dialogue pieces with the other plants, to, uh, you know, increase that dialogue tree, you know? But, I wish there was more to it that involve uh, solving stuff. You know, in the, the, the little story involving the daffodil and the carry, you know, the, in the poem and everything, that was kind of cool. I wish there was a conclusion to that, though. There was like a one-off line about how the carry was gonna meet them in the afternoon, and that's, you know, that's that's nice, but I wish there was an actual, like, thing that happens, you know? It's like, you did it, you know? These guys are happy now or something, I don't know. I like, you know, I, I like the idea of using the mechanics to solve something. I feel like that's what the strength of this kind of system would be. I don't know if the developer is going to make another game with the same system or anything, or they are going to make another game, but if they do that though, uh, that would be something to explore, I feel like, you know? Using this mechanic to do interesting things like that. Instead of like, you know, I mean, I guess it's optional, you don't have to do it, but when you find all the little extra pieces of dialogue, it doesn't feel all that rewarding, only because um, it's a little like, you know, a little bit too much um, back and forth, you know, a lot of like uh, backtracking, you know, go back here, you know, this question, copy that question, go here, and all you get is like a little one-off line. It's not that important, to be honest. Again, I, I do like the freedom of do being able to do that, though. It's just, it becomes a little like, uh, it becomes a little bit like a point-and-click adventure game, you know, that's what it feels like. You know how you like, you get a bunch of items and you just rub these items on the characters and get like pieces of dialogue that is basically just filler and fluff, you know? I kind of wish, I don't know, a little bit less of that, but more of the actual just interesting parts where you can actually use that dialogue to figure stuff out. Like a mystery game, you know? It's kind of like a mystery game, you know? That's kind of cool, actually. I, I wish there was more, but I guess that's it. It's just a little demo, I guess. But there you go. I guess, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's all I gotta say. I mean, any criticisms other than what I said before is uh, maybe the music? I mean, it's a very small thing, but the music sometimes is very static. I don't know if it's just me, but I, I, maybe when it restarts, you know, it's like a little weird pop. I don't know. Again, I don't know if it's just me, but that's like one thing I would say would be a little bit weird. Like, it may be better if it like, fades out and then fades in again. I'm not sure. Anyway, there you go. Um... It may be like, I said before, like a one suggestion is not really necessary, but it's only because I'm a big weeb. Maybe make the plants a little bit more humanoid, you know? Yeah, you don't have, you don't have to, but I think it'd be kind of cool, you know? Because, you know, er er everything has been turned into a, an anime character these days. Why not plants, you know? That could be a thing as well. Definitely, especially for human beings. I don't know what you call it, but there's this thing where we're, a lot of, like in our brains that tend to um that tends to gravitate towards things that look more humanoid you know at least humanoid but not you know not to the point of uncanny valley because that's you know obviously uh weird looking but like that's why people are you know people like me who like anime i imagine it's partly because of that you know even though obviously anime characters aren't realistic to like human proportions necessarily we uh, have that uh i guess I don't know what you call it, but like, you know. We have that thing, part of our brain that says, Oh, you know, we like this thing. It looks cute, you know, basically. So, turning these plants into like, a little bit more humanoid would be interesting too. I don't know, but that's just a su suggestion, I guess. <laughs> anyway, well, there you go. Uh, That'll be that for Hazel and the Plant Witch. You know, it's just a short little game with an uh, interesting little mechanic. And I guess, if you're on YouTube, uh, if you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch, so check them out over there if you're interested. And, um, I also have other playthroughs on the channel, so, uh, go over there if you want to find out more. But anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.